Today I'm going to show you how I made these notepad holders. I think they'll make great little gifts. For today's project, we're going to need a cereal box and we're going to need to cut it into two pieces. And you should probably be able to get two out of the cereal box. You're going to need at least two. You're going to need one piece that is four and a quarter by nine and three quarters. You're going to need another piece of the cereal box that is um, four and a quarter by six and a half. Let me make sure that was six and a half. Yes, yeah, six and a half. Okay. Then we're going to cover this, so don't worry about that right now. Then you're going to need a piece of solid cardstock that is six, four and a quarter by six and a half. You're going to need another piece of cardstock that is four and a quarter by nine and three quarters. And then you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is five and a quarter by nine and three quarters. And then we'll, and then you're going to need some um, decorative paper, and we can. I'll give you measures on oh, those in a moment. So for our first piece we're going to do, you need to get your five and a quarter by nine and three quarter piece of cardstock. And we're going to score it. And you're going to want to score it at two and three quarters. And you're going to score it again at three and one quarter. Okay. And then this piece, you're going to turn long ways. So it's going to be five and a quarter across the top and it's going to be the length going down. And you're going to score it at a half inch all the way down. And now I like to flip mine over here and do the other side because you want to score both sides at a half inch. Okay. Now, you're going to, oops, sorry. Now, you're going to take your paper and you're going to turn it. You got two sections in it. You've got a small rectangular section and then a larger rectangular section. You're going to turn it so that the larger rectangular section is to the left and the smaller little rectangle section is to the right. Then you're going to measure three and a quarter inches from, from the left towards the right. And this time when you score, you're only going to score from the top of the paper to the score line. Just score right to the score line and then stop. Then you want to pick up your paper, and I just flip mine over is what I do. Because we're not, we're going to, this is going to actually be a line, that reference line that we cut on. We're not going to fold on that line, so we can just flip it over. It's not going to matter. And then you're going to score again at three and one quarter. Okay. Now, we got that scored. Let's score the other piece while we've got it in here. So now your, your card stock that is four and a quarter by nine and three quarters, you're going to take that card stock, and you're going to score it at a half inch, then again at one and five eighths, and then again at two and three quarters. Okay, and then you're gonna turn to the other end, just flip it around here, and score a half inch again. Okay, so then you got that. Then you want to take your cereal box piece, here's your cereal box piece, and you want to take and score it. You want to score just it, the sear box piece that's actually four and a quarter by nine and three quarters. You want to score it at a half inch. And then score it, sort of follow score it pretty good. Half inch, and then two, I mean, then one and five eighths. Getting ahead of myself here. One and five eighths, and then two and three quarters. Then, what you want to do is you're going to, want to turn to the other end, flip it over, do the other end, and just at a half inch. Okay. Okay, let's see. I think we have everything scored. So now, let's put the scoreboard up, and let's go ahead. And so this can be drying. We're going to cover the cereal box with the cardstock that we just scored. So what you want to do is make sure that your score lines line up. And actually, I'm going to put it back in the machine, and I'm going to score this side. Go back and score this side, because it's not going to fold right. So you want to score on the side with the, the actual cereal box. 
So I'm just going to rescore back over those lines so that it's um so that it folds good. Folds easily. So now you want to take and be sure that you match the score lines up with the score lines on the cereal box. And, and so you have one, two, three, so up here, score lines, you want to put that up here and this one at the bottom. So now we're going to, now we're going to take and run some glue on our cereal box and cover up the picture on it, which is, it's kind of cute picture on this. This was Booberry. So then you want to take and line it up. Okay. Because you want the score lines to all match up so it'll score easily. Get a little bit of that glue off the edge there. So then you just want to smooth it out. I got a little bit of glue on it's okay. So you got that smoothed out, and lay that aside, and let it be drying before we fold it up. Okay, then we wanna take and let this be drying too. So we're gonna cover the cereal box side, the photo side of the cereal box, with another piece of the card set that you cut. So this is your four and a quarter by six and a half. And so we're going to cover it with the cardstock that we cut at four and a quarter by six and a half. Just line all the edges up best you can. Okay. That's good. Okay. We just want to smooth that out. I'm getting glue on that from a. We're going to cover that up anyway. Okay. So now we're going to lay that aside and let it dry. And now we're gonna work on the piece that we did all the scoring on and we scored the little edges on. So you wanna get your scissors. So remember when we scored it, we had we scored some lines just from one edge to the score line only. You're going to cut on that score line on each side. And that's just gonna be our guide to show us how far down to cut to cut away a piece. So we need to cut this piece away. So what we're gonna do is cut on the score line all the way down. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We snipped it, and now we're going to cut all the way to that cut line. Cut right down on the score line. A little hard right there, but... Okay. Now, you should have something that looks like this, where you've cut this away, and you've got all this at the bottom. So now here at the bottom, if you look, when you scored, you, you have two little squares inside the score lines where you've scored right down the middle here. So what you want to do is you want to cut on each side of those little squares. Don't cut the whole square out, just cut on each side so that you make a little flap. And do that on both sides. So now you should have you should have it looking like this where you've got the little flaps here cut loose. Okay. Now we're going to turn this around. So this is the front part of our, here's the, here's the one I made earlier. And this is, um, let me find the notebook to put in it. Here's one. So this, this right here is the front part. And that's where this is on your paper. You've got, this is the front part of your notebook holder. So this is the part we're going to decorate first. So what we're going to do is we are going to, I'm going to put this little red paper on here. Let me get some glue. Glue on it. Not too much. Okay, so we're going to decorate our little front part of our notebook holder. I just kind of want to center that. It's kind of hard to see. I know on camera where I'm doing it on the white, but you get sure you get the idea of how it's supposed to be. Okay, let me see if I got that. Yeah. Okay. 
So then, this right here, this part is what you see right here. It's the inside of the, actually I'm, I think I'm backwards. So let's fold this up so I can get it in my mind. Okay, yeah, it's totally off. So you may wanna fold this up first so you can see. So this is your box and this is the inside. I was on the back side of it. So this right here is this part. So what you wanna do is you wanna take and cut a piece of, um, and I forgot to tell you, this piece measures four by two and a half. So then this is the inside. So this piece measures four by six and a half, and we're just gonna glue it on the inside. Actually, it looks like it's gonna hang over a little bit. Maybe we need to cut just a bit of that off. So let me measure and see what I cut it at. Okay. So we're just going to cut just a, let me see that one more time. I think it would be best to cut that at six and a quarter. So you want to cut the inside decorative piece to six and one quarter. That would look better. And then we're going to glue that on. And just set it to make sure I didn't get that crooked. Maybe just a little bit. Okay, so then you want to just take and smooth it down. So now we're going to put the box together. You want to take and fold all the flaps in towards the center. You also want to be sure that you fold these, the bottom two score on this bottom two score line, so you create the box bottom. So now you want to put glue on. the top flap. You also want to put glue on the little square flap. And then all you're going to do is just fold it up, leaving th these flaps are going to go on the outside. So then you just fold it up to make a little box. You just want to match your flaps up and smooth it all out. And then Fold those up and smooth those like that. Okay, so now we've made the little box that holds the notepad and the ink pen. So now we're on ready to go and construct the base for it. For the base of the notepad holder, the easel part that, that's going to hold the notepad, now we're going to get our seal box pieces out that we, glue, that we glued the white to and the ones that we scored. You're going to take the four and a half by nine and three quarter and we're going to fold on the score lines. So we're going to turn the seal box piece so that the cardstock piece so that it face the inside of the box actually faces us. Then you're going to take and you're going to fold down the half inch, the flap that's where you scored a half inch. You're gonna fold that down and you're just gonna to have to really press on it with your bone folder. Okay, with it facing you again, you're going to fold up on the first score line. You're gonna fold that up and then you're gonna press down. Next, you're going to, the next score line, you're just going to turn, fold down, and press really hard with your bone folder. Just pressing it to get that crease in there. 
and then the half inch score line that you made on this end is gonna fold up and face you. Now you're just gonna really wanna press on all of these to get them get them scored down. So now the other piece of the steel box that was four and a quarter by six and a half, we're gonna take that piece and you want the white facing you and we're just gonna glue it to the top. Well, actually, we're gonna glue it underneath here at the top and at the bottom like this, like so. So we're gonna put some glue on the inside of this flap inside here so I can get it. I'm just going to press down on it. You're probably going to have to just keep pressing and holding so the glue can take hold. You could even use hot glue here. But I'm just going to use, I like this. This Tombow normally holds really well so I don't think I'm going to need it. Okay so then we want to also add glue to the inside of this flap and I'm being pretty generous with the glue so it holds it okay and so then you want to let's fold this back down this is a little so then you want to go and put it right up against the uh, score line where you had before and then fold this over and then just let's just press it down let's see if that's gonna be right yeah so then we're gonna just just hold it for a minute to let all that glue take hold. Okay. If you're using a glue that doesn't dry quickly, um, you, you're going to want to use some clips just to hold it, to hold it on there. But I think mine is holding good now. Okay, so now we've made the base. You see, we've got the little V so it can hold it all up. It's nice, we got the white here. So what we want to do now, which we, we could have done this before we put together, but you can still do it afterwards as well, is um, we want to take, I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to measure back here. Let's see what the measurement of this, because we want to cut this paper. It's going to be four and a quarter by six and four and a quarter by six and a half. So you want to get your decorative paper and cut it by four and a quarter by six and a half. And I'm just going to just okay. And so now we're going to put that on the back. And you could skip this step. Actually, I'm going to make it six and a quarter instead of six and a half. I think that's what I did on the other one too, to make it look prettier. I think it looks prettier to have the white edges around it, framing it. So, let's see. Like I said though, you could leave this plain. On this one, I did. I didn't even cover um, the cereal box. I just, I covered the inside, and then I just used the, the card stock look on the outside, because this one's brown, and I thought it went pretty well with it. With the white, um, I wasn't too happy with that, so I decided that's why I want, I want to cover it. So I'm going to put this, center it up, just center it up on there, and then we will, I think I added too much glue at the top there, I think I'm going to try to smear that down a little bit so we don't have it oozing out everywhere, and then we just want to center it up around here so that we kind of got even around it doesn't have to be perfect it can just just up 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 okay these dots are playing tricks on my eyes making it hard for me to tell so now you just want to so now we just want to smooth it down so that we got the pokey dots there so then we're going to add, so the, the last step is to add this 
to the frame. So let's do that. Well, first let's decorate. I'm going to finish decorating the front. To decorate the front of this, you could just put it together like this and it'd be really cute. And I need to get a notepad that matches, but it could be really cute like that. And you, you don't really have to decorate. You could stop there. But I, I love these little cutouts that I made on the computer. And so I want to add those. And I think I'm going to, hmm. I'm thinking I'm going to pop them all up which I want these two to be attached. So let me glue those two. Let me get where you can see me. Glue those two together. Just a little bit of glue so that they don't come apart if I'm trying to attach them. So I'm gonna take some little foam dots and just, or not foam dots, they're not really dots, are they? Little foam squares and hexagons, I guess you say, and I'm going to stick those right there. I'm not going to press down yet because I'm not exactly sure where everything's going. Okay, so then we'll put some on the back of here. Let's just show. I'm going to add just a little bit of glue to these. Because I want to make sure they do hold good. Okay, so then we're going to add that on top of our leaves. And let's add our little rain boots. because it's going to be, oops, don't tear it. Okay, it's going to be on the pumpkin. So let's just take and put a little glue. And now we're going to just attach it right here. Let's see if I can get that. And now, I think that I don't like the pop dot. I'm just gonna take and go out of there and pull that off. And excuse the noise in the background. My little schnauzer is wanting my attention. I think she's ready to go to bed. So, this is about to finish this up. So, here we go. I'm almost done. So, now that we've got it decorated up, we're just going to add glue to the back of it. And I think you could use hot glue for this as well, but I prefer just to use the Tomgo glue. I always forget to heat my glue gun up and I always get burnt with it too, so. Now you're just gonna add this. You're gonna center it up so, because you've, you've, you've covered it with a white. Or actually, you want to scoot it down to the bottom some. Try to match, I'm, I'm kind of matching up on the edges here at the bottom. And then, attaching it. Okay. So you're gonna have to fold it down and just take your bone folder and just smooth across. And you're gonna smooth inside there. That just gets it all glued down. Get down real good. Press as much as you can. All right. And now we have our completed notepad holder so you could put and what you could do you could go back I don't have any right here but you could take and decorate the front of your notepad holder you could add a little I don't think I have a big enough piece of red that matches the dots but I could go back with red but you can put your little notepad and your pen in there and I, this one actually may look cuter in there and so there we have it our little notepad holder. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you make one, comment below and let me know how yours turned out.